Yo, what is up, in? My name is Abdin, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 17, and today, guys, we have some progress to do. First of all, since at the time of recording, this is before Christmas, we still need to stock up on the gift of pixelation, and then we gotta finish the wood warehouse over here. We gotta get it into functioning order, and then from there, we might actually be able to start start on the item storage we'll see if that's actually possible in this episode but yeah with that said let's get straight into this video alrighty guys so it's the next day and I've joined a server so I can load up but look over here guys what's up what's happening right there the truck is gone what the heck okay we gotta see what's going on with that because that is freaking I, what happened to the truck was did i use the wrong truck or what why is it gone no that's gonna suck to clean up yeah the, the truck is just totally gone how long has that been like that i don't know i just realized that it's totally gone well that sucks all right well anyways uh the ferry is right there so we best be getting off over there Let's go as fast as we can, because I've missed the ferry so many times already, I don't want to miss it again. I don't know how long the ferry is going to be here. We're finally going to get the gift of pixelation. Let's see when he departs. Okay, 27 seconds. Let's do this! Alrighty, guys, we are just about to the other side, and now we gotta go grab some pix gifts of pixelation. Now, we can't stock up too heavily on them, because I wanna get back before the ferry departs. Alright, so we gotta go down here as fast as possible. We need to get these gifts of pixelation, and make it back before the ferry departs, because I really don't wanna miss it. So yeah, we're just going to go this way, over here, and wrap around this, go this way, and middle twice. So middle passage is right here, and then the next middle passage will be right here. There it is, and you can see all of the gifts of pixelation. Wow, there is so many. Oh, this is going to make it super easy to stock up. We just put a ton of them. Just stack them all up in a nice big stack like so. Man, this is going to be super, super easy to stock up. Okay, we should probably buy that before they glitch out. Okay, that's 6000 for five of those. Dang, that is so cheap. Wait, hold on. Six. Yeah, 6000 That's crazy cheap. We need to stock up big time on these things because we are going to make massive profits on this thing. Okay, let's see. That's six items. Yeah, that's so cheap, especially considering things from Fine Arts usually go way up in price. We just got to get as many of these as possible and then run. Okay, these are very stackable. This is so nice. Has Defaultio still not fixed? Yeah, he hasn't fixed the image. You can see that the bow is much more stretched out on the this image than it is in game. Weird. Okay, let's go ahead and I think this is probably going to be our last stack of gifts. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit this all into the truck to be honest. So, it's probably best to Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the tower has toppled. Okay. That's probably good enough. Okay, we need to get these all into the truck as fast as possible. Just get these over here. Do, 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 do. We can probably stack them like this, but I don't know. That's probably going to take a long time to orient them all like that. Worst case scenario, we miss the ferry and we just have to stock up more. Which would probably be fine, it's just that it's going to take a very long time to get back if we miss the ferry right now. And this new rotation where you can hold shift and Q to rotate it the other way is super handy right now. This is coming in so much handy. You can just take one of these, rotate it right where you need it to go, and perfect. Okay, I've kind of accepted that we're probably going to miss it. I think that's as many as we can actually fit. Okay, let's just try to get back to the ferry as fast as possible. Go, 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 go. We probably already missed it. I stocked up probably more than I could with the time limit restraint. 
Okay, has it been four minutes? Probably. Oh yeah, my recording says five minutes, which means... Yep, the fairy is, of course, gone. Which, yeah, that just means that we get to put a bunch of these onto the dock and we can go grab more. So let's go ahead and do that. There's actually a lot of things that we need from this tropics biome. For one, we need some more koa wood because we just used it all up. That's not super necessary right now because we are kind of out of space for that as it stands. But what we need a little bit more is the wood detectors from Link's Logic for the wood warehouse, of course, because it's going to automatically sort all of my wood for me. Okay, we will just leave all of those gifts right there and let's go grab some more. Okay, we are back. Let's just make ourselves a stack real quick. Let's see how many gifts we can actually stack on this counter before they start despawning. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, I, I, I've actually just realized if we wait too long and they start despawning, we're, they're actually going to topple and we won't be able to buy probably any in that stack that gets messed up. So let's just go ahead and just buy this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, that that's exactly what I was thinking was going to happen. So we got up to 13, but we pretty much lost a lot of them. Okay. Now I'm actually going to grab a few gloomy paintings because we need a bunch of these for the wood warehouse, but I, I don't know if I can get much in the back of this truck. There's not much space, but we'll try to get as much as we can. Okay, three is probably the most we can do without the possibility of it just immediately falling out. I mean, it's probably going to fall out anyways. All right, we just got to get back to the ferry now. Hopefully he hasn't arrived yet because if he has, then he's probably going to depart soon. So we got to get back as fast as possible. Looks like my gloomy paintings have all fallen out at the same time. Uh, but I tell ya, these are not very stable here. I don't know if they're gonna be any more stable on the top of this. Yeah, that's not gonna work very well at all. Yep, those are just falling right off. Dang it, uh, I don't know what to do about that. I'll just come back for them, to be honest. Okay, the fairy is here. Let's just get all of these gifts on here. We, we gotta see it when he next departs, because if he departs too soon, we might have to lose all of those gloomy paintings. Alright, let's see. When does he next depart? Hello, Hoover. When do you next run? One minute. Oh, yikes. We probably don't have enough time for the gloomy paintings. We gotta get all of these uh, pixelated gifts onto the fairy, and that's probably gonna take up our entire minute, so we're gonna have to just leave those gloomy paintings there. That's kind of unfortunate. That's probably, like, a wasted 40,000 lumber bucks. Dang it, that sucks. Okay, last gift. Let's get on the ferry. I don't know when he departs, but we gotta go. Oh, shoot. He's going right freaking now. Okay, we got into our seat. That was scary. We could have totally fallen off the ferry very easily. This thing is not exactly the most stable of contraptions. But yeah, let's get back to the base and get all of these saved on the base. I think it's safe to say that we definitely had no time to get those gloomy paintings whatsoever. Alrighty guys, we are pretty much back. So let's get these back to the base and then we're going to have to grab those afterwards. So let's get these over. And then I think we're just going to get a separate truck for the rest and we're dropping so many of those. We'll just leave those behind. We can get those with the other truck. Let's just go ahead and leave that on the base and go grab this one over here. Grab these. All right, now we got to get back to the ferry and grab all of those gifts before the ferry departs. Alrighty, guys, we don't have much time before the ferry departs, so we got to get off of this ferry as soon as we can. All right, that is the last gift. Let's get off of this ferry before he departs. Oh, 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 my truck won't move. Okay, there we go. Oh, looks like there is a blue spruce over there. That is awesome. We got some blue spruce growing in this server. That is cool, cool. Oh, there's another one right over there. Okay, let's go ahead and just put this truck over on our base. Perfect, perfect. 
Okay, guys, I don't know what's happened, but the base literally just ticked up to data size 10, but now it's back down to 9, which kind of concerns me, because that could mean that we just lost something. I don't know. It, it could mean that there's, like, a, a bunch of items missing. Hopefully that's not the case. We're going to have to wait until we load to actually see. So far, it looks like all of my items that I just stocked up on are perfectly safe. And guys, it is after Christmas at, a, at the time of recording, which means that the items, all of the gifts that I just stocked up on, including all of the gifts that I stocked up on in the last episode, are also gone. Which means that if we are missing some things, which it looks like we aren't, then we can't really stock back up on them. But yeah, it looks like we got everything. Let's just go ahead and quickly check. Look and make sure that everything in the shop is still there. Everything in my storage bins are still there. Yeah, it looks like everything is fine. Oh, it looks like we might have lost some cornucopias. I don't know how many cornucopias were over here, but those are getting dangerously close to the edge, so I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, I gotta get over to that ferry. I just realized, yeah, we gotta go grab some more things from the tropics, believe it or not. So we have a need for, uh, I mean, I just explained it, but we do need to grab some, uh, wood detectors for the wood warehouse. And we also need some koa wood, so we're gonna try to get as much as we can, but we need to get over this ferry, because I'm pretty sure it's going to depart very, very soon, so... Oh, 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 we got in, we got on. Okay, let's see when it departs, because usually I'm not very good at timing this. Okay, so one minute. Okay, so we're fine. We got a whole minute. We, we're just gonna camp out on this ferry until then. Alrighty guys, we have made it back to the other side. Looks like the <laughs> ferry has glitched. Uh, I, d I don't know what to do about that, but yeah, let's go over to Link's Logic and grab some wood detectors. We're gonna try to beat the ferry this time, make sure that we get all of the wood detectors before he departs and we can't get all of the items back. I guess it's not that big of a deal if we do miss the ferry, because again, we do need some koa wood, so yeah. Um, but we don't need a lot of wood detectors actually, so no problem. I think we'll be able to make it back to the ferry, we just need... 17 well actually I think it's 14 so even less than I said um, so 14 wood detectors that should be no problem that's as many slots as I have for the wood warehouse let's just go ahead and buy these oh 67,000 for just that okay we're going bankrupt right now jeez that is 67,000 and that's not even half of all of the wood detectors that we need we need a lot more than that we need eight more of these so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to just bite the bullet and be super poor. Oh, okay. Let's see how much this is going to cost us. Another sixty-seven thousand. So yeah, that is really expensive. So that should be twelve. We just need two more, and then we can get out of this building, and we need to get onto the ferry as fast as we can. Uh, looks like he's still there, but not for much longer. He always leaves way too early, so you don't want to miss it this time. Let's just go get a couple more and try to get back to the ferry ASAP. Okay, that's the final one. Let's just go ahead and buy this from Lincoln. Hello, Lincoln. 22000 for just two. That is insanely expensive. We're down to three million. I think we were at like 3.1 or 3.2 million before we went here. Man, we are going so bankrupt right now. I mean, three million isn't that bad, but we definitely need to go ahead and sell a bunch of items so that we can make up all of this. We do have a lot of limited items that we still have in the shop that we need to sell, but yeah, let's get onto this ferry that is very bugged and see when he next runs. See if we have any time to get some koa wood when you next run. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> guess we don't. <laughs> he's, he's leaving right now. We made it on at the perfect time, I guess. That's awesome. Okay, let's just get back to the base. Looks like the sun is going down, so hopefully I don't need anything from any stores that close at night, because 
I can't, but luckily we just got done with Link's Logic. Link's Logic does close at night, which is unfortunate, but fortunately for us, we don't have to worry about that because we got back on the ferry with everything that we needed before it turned night, before the store closed, so that was awesome. Alrighty guys, we are back. Let's get all of this back to our base. Turn on our headlights by pressing L and let's get back to the base and get all of these on the base because this is like 200k worth of wood detectors. I didn't realize that they were that expensive. I knew they were expensive, but not that expensive. Okay, we are back to the base and I am experiencing a lot of lag. Again, I think that is entirely the fact that we don't have a proper item storage, so we need, to, we, we need to figure that out. But, as I've been saying a lot recently, we need to do the wood warehouse before we even think about the item storage. So, we now have most of the materials that we actually need, but um, we actually need to go back onto the ferry, I just realized. Because we need koa wood, so I don't know if it was really worth it going all the way back. Uh, because we still need some koa wood to actually start the wood warehouse. So let's get all of these on the base. I guess it's kind of important to get all of these on the base before we do anything because those are worth a lot. So we want to make sure that those are nice and secure. But yeah, now let's see if the fairy is still there. I hope he is. Yeah, he is. But probably not for much longer as always. So we need to get back onto the ferry and grab some koa wood. Alrighty, we are on the ferry. Let's see when he departs. Probably <laughs> pretty soon. When you next run, 35 seconds. Okay, we need to get back onto our seat so that we're nice and secure. And let's go. Okay, guys, we are back over to the tropics biome for like the third time today. And, well, I guess it's not necessarily today because I got the gifts of pixelation a little bit earlier but um for this episode within like a 13 minute span we have already gone ahead and gone to the tropics three times which is crazy but yeah we need a lot of koa wood we're just going to get mainly just the big branches because the smaller branches i feel like just aren't worth getting um <laughs> when we have so many big ones so yeah, let's go ahead and grab some of these. I love this gingerbread axe. We can just absolutely shred through this massive tree so easily. It is so OP. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's get this one over here. Chop it in half, of course. And it looks like it is also turning day, which is really nice. Okay, so there we go. That's probably sufficient for what we need. I don't know. We got to go back to the ferry, though, because I know he loves to depart way earlier than I ever think he will. So we got to make sure that he's not going to depart too soon before we continue. So let's go ahead and see when does he next run. So we got a minute and 40 seconds. I don't know if that's enough to grab more, probably, but not too much more. We just got to get all of these on the ferry and... Go grab more, so do, 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 do. Uh, this is always so stressful. Will I make it back to the ferry in time or not? If I don't make it, then I'm going to have to wait like, f f what, like 8, 12 minutes before he gets back. That would suck. I don't know if it's even worth trying to do what I'm doing because of that <laughs> little risk right there. Let's just grab this, uh, da, da, da. grab a couple of these. And that will be all. Okay, I am going to stop <laughs> testing my luck and get back on the ferry right now. Okay, we are back on the ferry. Let's just go ahead and process some of these out. I don't want those little branches. Let's just throw those in the ocean, chuck them out, and grab these. Just make sure that the truck is nice and full so that we don't waste any time. We want to have this nice and full by the time we get over to the other side. Alrighty, guys. Um, what the heck? <laughs> what? Okay, I was holding that piece of wood, but, um... Uh, it looks like since we've departed, uh, the wood just decided to float. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it had to be touching the ferry in order to get welded. I guess that's not the case. It can just be floating there. What the heck? Why? Why is it like that? That's so weird. Why is it... 
is just floating there. What? My little floating koa piece and I, we are best friends, best buddies. He's probably not going to be flying forever. Once we get to the other side, I bet he's just going to fall immediately. Uh, that's gonna be kind of funny to see, but, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and c talk to my best pal, my flying koa wood, while he's still flying. Flying koa wood, what, what are your aspirations? To fly higher? Oh man, well that's kind of bad news because I don't know if you're gonna be flying forever. <laughs> well, we'll try to make sure that you fly higher, okay? A little piece of koa wood, I'm, I'm gonna make sure of it. I already have ideas for how we can make that work, but yeah, we need to keep track of this little piece of koa wood because he's my best pal and his greatest aspiration is to fly higher. Oh, yep, he's he's down. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave him over there and we are going to go put all of these in our sawmill and come back for them. Alrighty, let's get on to the auto unloader. Unlo auto unload all of that. Make sure all that makes it into the sawmill. It's it's very large pieces of wood, so they're probably going to get jammed pretty easily. But yeah, let's go ahead and make sure that all of these are nice and straight. Oh, that one's just too big to even fit in the sawmill. Um, we can just chop it in half, I guess. That kind of works. And this one we're just going to have to leave. Uh, put all these in and we gotta get back as soon as possible. I did drop a few over there We're gonna have to go grab those but yeah, I, I'm gonna have to chop this one up a little bit And looks like the wood system is getting quite jammed over here. We're gonna have to get all of these out of the way um, And then I don't know. I don't really know what to do with all of this coal wood We're gonna have to make sure that all of it goes directly into the wood warehouse because we have no storage for it but yeah, we do need to get back and grab all of the rest of the koa wood before the ferry departs. Okay, so we only have a few pieces left, I guess. Let's just grab these. Let's make sure we keep track of this one, because that one was the flying one. That one's the special one. Flying piece of koa wood. I'm going to make sure that you fly higher, okay? Okay, buddy? Okay, so it was this piece. Let's just make sure that we have that guy separated so I don't accidentally sawmill him. He's special, okay? He can fly. Okay, let's get the rest of them through the sawmill. Just go up right here and press that button right there. And make sure all of these go through the sawmill. Okay, that one is a little bit too big to fit through the sawmill. Let's see if the sawmill glitch will help that go through yes it did okay and just this one last piece i guess we have that one over there and we still need to get this one through i don't know if that's going to work it's a little bit big but i guess since we have chopped it the other way it will actually fit okay let's grab this one and then that one we're going to have to make sure flies higher okay looks like there's a bit of a blockage happening over here Okay, let's get all of this figured out, get that one through the sawmill, and we are done with the Koa Wood run. Um, now we gotta make sure that this little guy flies higher. Um, I don't know if what he had in mind is the same as what I have in mind, but either way, we're gonna make sure that he flies higher, okay? We're gonna make sure. Let's see how high this little guy can fly. Open that, make sure that he's sitting on top, and detonate! Okay, let's see how high he can fly. Let's see this happen. Okay, well, he didn't fly very high at all. <laughs> um, okay, we need to come up with a better plan because, I mean, other pieces of wood <laughs> flew very high, but that piece definitely didn't. Um... Yeah, let's go, let's go put him into the truck and we're gonna have to figure out something better. I, I thought the for sure t dynamite would be what would propel him up very, very high. It looks like he uh, kind of split in half. Okay, let's try something else. Have you ever gone skydiving, little flying piece of koa wood? Well, this time you're gonna go skydiving and you're for sure gonna fly higher, okay? Because this is gonna be awesome.
Okay, here we go. Fly. Fly high, my little piece of coal wood. <laughs> okay, I think I think the aspirations have been met and now that piece of coal wood has definitely flown higher. Uh, that was amazing. Okay, let's get off of this mountain real quick. Perfect, perfect. And I guess now all that's left to do is sawmill this little guy. Alrighty, buddy. This is your final destination. This is what your life has led up to. Getting sawmilled. I don't know if this is a scary experience, but, uh, nothing I can do now. <laughs> All right, well, that's awesome. We got we got the the special koa wood, and now what we gotta do is we just gotta finish off these bins over here. So we have a few bins, as you can see. We didn't quite finish them. We gotta get these backs of all of these bins in place. So let's go ahead and unclog this blockage. I guess there's a blockage right here, which was preventing all of the wood from going through. And let's create a blockage because we want to make sure that we have enough space. Okay, yeah, we have enough space for the rest of the coal wood. So, yeah, let's just get this all processing out. Looks like we got a nice stream of coal wood coming up to the conveyors. And now we just got to go ahead and start placing blueprints. So what do we need? We need some floor blueprints. Let's just place them on the conveyors so that they'll just get automatically filled as the wood comes up and then we can just use them. So these, these, uh, f what, what are these? The, the, are, are we using floors? We should not be using floors actually. Not at all. We need to be using the short smooth walls because the grain will match better. So we need the short smooth walls. Let's put these on like so and those should definitely just automatically fill as we go along so let's go ahead and place this in oh I don't know if that'll actually fit oh yes it will okay good good and then this one will automatically fill this is very nice it just automatically fills just for me that's amazing now we need a couple of smooth walls for those end pieces as well and looks like the wood is getting through anyways oops that's not good uh oh uh oh uh oh wood you should not be getting through we need to reverse that as well and probably this one too so that they have less opportunity to sneak through my little uh, reversal right there. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to put these ones at the very end. These ones that don't have a skinny smooth wall at the end. We got to fix that. Perfect. And now I guess all that w is left to do is a few more short smooth walls and then we need some skinny short smooth walls. And now we just got to use this on each and every one of these bins to finish them all off. Okay, one last one is required and we will be done. So we just got to get this one filled in and we are finished. That is amazing. We are finished with all of the bins, which means we can start working on the actual system to get all of these sorted. And I'm just kind of realizing just now that we might actually not have everything that we need we might need some signal sustains as well which will require another trip to the tropics believe it or not yeah that that's right we might have to go back to the tropics for a fourth time in this episode that is crazy we are obsessed with the tropics right now Alrighty guys, now we gotta place in some conveyors and guys, this is going to be a bit of a strange design for an auto sorter. The original design was made by Ping Pong and I kind of adapted that to fit my own needs, but this is the first time I'm ever building something like this. So if it sucks and it doesn't work very well, then that's why, and that's also why I think that if you guys are trying to make your own auto sorter, that you should definitely not follow along because this this design I'm pretty sure is only going to let me sort small pieces. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's probably only going to be for smaller pieces. And it's also probably going to involve a lot more glitching, so if you guys want a little bit more of... Uh, easier design that is probably going to work better for your needs definitely make sure that you check out my tutorial I have a tutorial on that so 
make sure you check that out i don't know how well this one's going to work out so yeah just make sure that you follow my tutorial instead of this because this is probably gonna be a disaster Alrighty, but yeah guys, we're gonna have to get a bunch of tilted conveyors because this is going to require a ton of tilted conveyors. This is largely just tilted conveyor after tilted conveyor. So, uh, these are all straight conveyors. We need tilted conveyors. I don't know if... I think that's a tilted conveyor. Yeah, that definitely is. Um, let's just put that against that one. And yeah, we're going to have to do this for all of the bins. That's a straight conveyor. We have so many straight conveyors. We need tilted conveyors. Okay, so it'll be four tilted conveyors per bin. So that is four right there. So now we need four for the other one. We're definitely going to need to grab more tilted conveyors. I don't think I have enough here. Um, and I also need like a ladder over here because this is getting really difficult. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we have in terms of ladders? We can just place a couple down. Um, what do we have in terms of ladders? Right here and right here. There we go. Um, we're just going to place a ladder inside of here and that will hopefully make my job a little bit easier. Now what we can do is we can place in one right here, right there. Okay, perfect. And we're just going to follow this pattern for all of the bins. And yeah, like I said, we're going to need some more tilted conveyors because this does not seem like enough tilted conveyors whatsoever. Okay, so we were able to do one, two, I think that's only two, two bins. And we need more. We need more now. So, uh, let's see. What do we got in terms of tilted conveyors? Nothing. We literally have nothing in terms of tilted conveyors. So, we're going to have to go over to Wood R Us and get a ton of those real quick. Now, I have a bunch of straight conveyors, and those will also be very useful. But for now, what I need is tons and tons of tilted conveyors. Technically, we need 56 tilted conveyors for all of them but we have already done a couple so probably a little bit less than 56 we'll see how many we can get so far we've only gotten four which is kind of crazy that's that just puts into perspective how much we need because 56 is a lot more than four and it took me a pretty sizable amount of time to just get four that was like 30 to 40 seconds so yeah, this is gonna take a while. Of course, it'll speed up as we get going, but it's definitely going to take more than just one truckload. Okay guys, that is 20 out of the 40 probably that we're gonna need, so that's about half. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and place in all of these, and then we're gonna have to head back to Wood RS and get more. But that should do us for quite a little bit. So uh, this this ladder is actually of no help right here. Um, so we just got to place in a conveyor right there. Yep. And now we just got to place in a ton more like so. Okay. That one's done. Next up, we got this one. Just place one right there. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the finishing touches on this side. Um, we actually are not going to be using any more of these tilted conveyors. But yeah, that means that that side is pretty much finished. We just need some turn conveyors now. I don't know if I have any. But let's go ahead and place in a conveyor right there. Uh, that's kind of, that's bad. That needs to be toggled the other direction. And I would just toggle it, although it's going to have to be by default that direction. So we're going to have to reverse it to that side, I guess. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to get some turn conveyors. I don't know if I have any. Um, do we have any over here? I don't see any. Yeah, so we're going to have to go back to What Are Us and grab some, along with a bunch more tilted conveyors because we are getting a little bit low. We're going to have to get a ton for the other side, so I think that's 7 times 4, which would be 28 more tilted conveyors. That's not exactly how much we're probably going to need because we do still have those three, so probably 25. We'll just count on 25, so let's get a couple of tilted conveyors as well as we're going to need a couple of these turn conveyors, and that should be enough for the turn conveyors. 
and probably a few straight conveyors as well. Even though we have a ton of straight conveyors, we're still going to need some more because, I mean, we're going to need some for each and every one of the bins, probably like four for each and every one of the bins. So might as well stock up on these straight conveyors while we're trying to stock up on the tilted conveyors as well. I feel like it would be faster than doing those individually. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty guys, I think that is all that we can really fit in this truck, so that will be the final load. I mean, we could fit a little bit more back in this little space back here, but at that point it's not really worth it. We'll just make another trip. So yeah, let's go ahead and put these final finishing touches over here, and perfect, perfect. Let's just go ahead and close that tailgate and get back to the base, and we can actually put in this turn, so that'll be great. Let's get these in. I don't know if that's going to go in straight. There we go. That went in perfectly. That's perfect. Let's just put that in right there and put this one in. And there we go. Now we just got to go ahead and put in some more tilted conveyors on the other side. Okay, guys, this is the last tilted conveyor, and that means that we're going to have to make yet another run to what are us. So, yeah, we need, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, so that's 16 more, uh, minus one, so 15 more conveyors, and I think we'll be good. I've just kind of given up organizing them. I just realized that's kind of very inefficient. So that was two, so we just got 11 left to get. And this uh, extra two, that'll be nine left to get. And this will be the final one, zero. There we go. Okay, so that is the last tilted conveyor. And we will be good. We are golden. Let's go ahead and close this tailgate and get over to the base real quick. And yeah, now we have a ton of tilted conveyors. This should definitely do it. And yeah, um, then we have a ton of straight conveyors that we also have to place in those will go in we're, we're gonna have to glitch those into the hatches so we're gonna wait on that until we have an alt in here so let's go ahead and put this here one two three and four and now we just got a couple more to place that will just go right back into the loop in case there's a wood that didn't quite get sorted just like that and maybe one more although it's kind of hard to say if that's going to to clog things or something like that now we got all of the conveyors in which is super awesome now what we got to do is we got to make sure that everything is toggled in the right direction like so. These ones are definitely not in the right direction. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to put in some of the wood detectors, but we do, I think we're going to have to glitch them in so that they're not going to run into issues. We're going to have to do a little bit of testing to make sure that wood detectors will actually work if we glitch them in like that. So yeah, um, where did I put the wood detectors? They're over there. Let's go ahead and put them all in the truck and that way we can get them around to where they need to go a little bit easier. And then we're going to need to get our alt in here so that I can actually glitch some of these things inside of other things. We're going to need to glitch the wood detectors inside of these conveyors up here as well as glitch these conveyors into these hatches so yeah let's get our alt in here so that we can do that alrighty guys I got my alt in here and the recording is probably going to be pretty laggy because of how poorly optimized the Windows app is but that's pretty much the only way I can have an alt on my same computer so I can show you what I'm doing but yeah basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out all of these hatches on all of the bins and I'm gonna place in conveyors right underneath them and I'm also going to to knock out these two conveyors on each of the bins so that I can place in a wood detector right in between them so that the wood detector can detect wood through the barrier on the conveyor 
Alrighty guys, job is done. So we got all of these little wood detectors glitched inside of these two tilted conveyors right here on each of the bins. And this is just so that my wood detectors don't have to be super far up to the point that they won't be able to detect anything because again, this is mainly just going to be for detecting smaller pieces. So we gotta make sure that the wood detector will actually be able to detect the smaller pieces so yeah it needs to be really really low down now with my other design I just use funnel conveyors to actually detect them but since these have to be tilted conveyors I had to glitch them in so that's why I had to use an alt for that and also I have put in all of these conveyors I've glitched them in into all of these hatches for all of them and then I put funnel conveyors on the end so that my trucks will be able to just back right up onto the bin that I want and I will be able to unload super easily or load rather um, so yeah that is what I have been doing with my alt and now what I can do is I can well I'm sorry guys we're gonna have to go back to the tropics biome I need two things from the tropics I need a bunch of gloomy paintings which is what I attempted to get with the pixelated paintings at the start of the episode but I also need some signal sustains for the system let's just go ahead and get our truck and go over to the ferry well um, I guess what I could do while I'm waiting for the ferry cuz it literally just got here I could just go ahead and get some of these blue spruce trees cuz they're literally just right here there's tons of them in the main biome might as well while the winter event is still going on yeah let's go ahead and process these out oh my gosh we have so much blue spruce I don't know what to even do with it all but um I don't know just might as well get a few while we're waiting for the ferry but at this point, I feel like the ferry is probably about to go, so we should probably head over there. We probably shouldn't test our luck and try to get that one over there because I feel like by the time we got that one all processed out, the ferry would have left by then. Okay, looks like the ferry has started leaving, so what we're going to do is once we get over to the other side, we're basically just going to get a ton of gloomy paintings. We need 14 gloomy paintings, so we're going to get 14 gloomy paintings from Fine Arts down in the maze, and then I'm going to take them all back up to the ferry, but the ferry will probably be gone by then, so we're just going to leave them on the dock if that's the case. And then we're gonna wait until Link's Logic opens so that we can get the signal sustains to finish off this system. Oh, and I should probably also get a ton of wires because I just realized we're gonna need wires for not only just the signal sustains, but also we're gonna need wires for the hatches, which means four plus four that's gonna be eight per bin so eight times 14 that is a lot I'm not even gonna try to do the math in my head just kidding I am that's gonna be 106 probably okay let's 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 pack check 112 I was six off we're gonna need 112 wires just for the hatches below there is the fine arts shop so yeah we're gonna need some gloomy paintings uh, 14 as I said so let's just get to stocking up so let's just go ahead and grab that and we are golden let's just place that in like that so hopefully we can get out with all of these not toppling over okay never mind that did not work very well but yeah you can see we have a ton of gloomy paintings which is great now we just got to get back to the dock and get all of these on the dock so that we can go stock up on things at Link's Logic. Oh my gosh. What? What? What was that? I, I, I literally, I, my heart dropped. I thought I lost connection or something, but oh my, my paintings just glitched all the way through the truck. I don't know. Why does Lumber Tycoon have to be so weird? This sucks. Uh, I mean, at least we're not in a huge hurry because uh, otherwise this would really, really suck. That I, I would definitely be missing the ferry at this point. 
Okay, let's go ahead and open the tailgate and I'm just going to go down this way and then suddenly accelerate out. Uh, uh. Okay, this isn't very effective and I almost, that one almost made it to the ocean. That would not have been good. Okay, well, let's just get the rest of them out manually by hand. Okay, that is perfect. Uh, let's just go ahead and make our way over to Link's Logic, and hopefully that's not too many that I won't be able to get them onto the ferry in time once we actually need to get on the ferry. But yeah, it looks like the sun is up very high in the sky, which means we have plenty of time to get things from Link's Logic. Let's just open this tailgate and... Okay, so we need not signal delays. We need the sustains back here. Let's just go ahead and get 14 of these. Actually, you know what? We might actually need double 14 because I feel like we're probably going to need to sustain longer than just one sustain can provide. I mean, with my proper design, uh, it is it does utilize two signal sustains per bin so I've actually just realized we might want to get more sustains than I originally thought so let's see how many is that that's six we need 14 times 2 which is 28 looks like the ferry is at the dock right now but as I said I think we're gonna have to wait another cycle because we still need an insane amount of wires so yeah we're gonna have to stock up for a lot longer looks like the Sun has definitely moved quite a bit we don't have a ton of time but yeah that is all of these signal sustains now we just gotta absolutely crazily stock up on these wires as much as we can so yeah uh, I don't know if I have an exact number of how many wires we need I just know that we need a lot a lot a lot like over a hundred so we're gonna try to get as many as is humanly possible right here okay i probably shouldn't stock up too heavily because if the store closes before i get all of these on the counter then i can't get any of them so i'm i just bought all of them and now we gotta get these into the truck oh and it is closed i can't see anything this is going to suck to try to get the rest into the truck but hopefully we can get all these into the truck and by the time we get back to the dock the ferry will be just arriving I don't know how perfectly I've timed this. I wasn't really trying to perfectly time it, so hopefully it just works out. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, that is all of the wires in the truck. This is a lot of time right here in this truckload. This is a truckload of time right here. That took a while to stock up on, but it's actually, oh, looks like the ferry is just barely arriving, perfect. But yeah, um, as I was saying, this is actually quite a bit of items compared to the amount of time that I spent. I feel like that didn't take too long to stock up on. But yeah, let's just get over here. I have to run over that painting that's always very stressful because they can always glitch out super easily. But yeah, the ferry is here. Let's just get all of these gloomy paintings onto the ferry before he departs okay that is all now we just gotta wait until the ferry departs and we will be golden alrighty guys we are back to the other side um that's bad news I can't okay so those just those just appeared okay 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 it was just a visual bug uh, that was scary okay uh, I'm, I'm stressing out I can't I, I can't I can't get words to come out of my mouth. That was really, really scary. I thought all of my items were definitely gone. But yeah, no, it's just the regular visual bug. Sometimes the boxes just, you know, stay left behind or something. I don't know. I don't know why it happens. But yeah, we got all of these signal sustains. Let's just get these over here. That is awesome. And I guess I'm just going to respawn my truck so I can get all of those gloomy paintings back so let's just go ahead and respawn my truck I don't know how much time he has actually we want to go a little bit fast hopefully he doesn't depart before I get the truck off of the ferry that would kind of suck in fact I'm actually going to get all of these off 
I, I, I can't really fit these onto my truck. Let's get all of those off of the ferry. Let's actually drop all of my axes as well, just in case we get trapped on the ferry, because I don't want to have to stay on the ferry. If I do get trapped on the ferry, all I have to do is reset, because all of my axes are over here anyways. That's why I'm dropping my axes, but it looks like we're ha we'll have enough time. Perfect, perfect. Now I can just go ahead and grab all of my ba axes back. Okay. Oh, the stress is over. Let's get all of these back to the base, and then we can go grab the other load. And looks like that blue spruce tree is still over there, as well as another one. Oh, and I see a little sapling, so I don't know. Is it worth getting more? I feel like it definitely is because, I mean, they're limited. I won't be able to get them anymore afterwards. And it's definitely a nice building color, so I don't know. I, I definitely want to get a bunch of them, but... I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. Okay, let's get back over to the dock and grab all of those gloomy paintings. And it kind of seems like I didn't have to rush quite as much as I did because the ferry is still over here, just still chilling. So I guess I had more time than I thought. Okay guys, I got all of these back to the base. Now I'm just going to respawn my truck and that will be the end of it. I actually don't know why I need to respawn my truck, I just realized. Okay, now what I gotta do is I gotta take these signal sustains and I gotta place them against the end, the output of these wood detectors like so, so that the output is making contact and the arrow is facing away. And that should be good. Let's put another one in like so. So now what I want to do is I want to take these signal sustains and I'm going to wire them up to the conveyors over here. So I got to place the wire a little bit over here and like so. There we go. And I'm just going to wire that up to probably three of the conveyors, maybe four of them. Okay, three is fine. I don't think the fourth one is really all that necessary. And it will also get blocked by that one, so might as well just not. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to test it. So let's get one of these pieces. I'm going to chop this even smaller so that it'll fit into the wood detector. And we got to figure out a way to get up there, probably just by doing this. Oh, no. That is bad news. Uh-oh. Why does that happen? Uh... So I think the issue is just that the hatches are literally the exact same level. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you can see, but that's not going to be very conducive for the system, so I need to fix that. But yeah, let's go ahead and enable that, make sure that's working. Why is that not working? I think I have to redo everything, like everything that I did with my alt I have to redo which might not seem like that big of a deal, but it really took a very long time to do. But I think that's all I can do, because that is not working right there. I don't see its laser coming out at all. Okay, guys, it's been a few days, and you can see that it is no longer snowy in Lumberland because I've been sick, and so I haven't really been able to talk in videos, so I couldn't really record, but what I could do while I was waiting to be able to record was do things with my alt. So you can see that I've gotten the hatches moved up one level on all of these, and you can also see that I have moved the wood detectors over. This is where... I found that it would work the best I just glitched them in right there and now they will actually detect things and they actually work so that is great I just have to fill all of them make them all work and I also have to wire them all up that is what I have to do right now so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll get right back once that is complete Alrighty guys, so I have done quite a bit actually. I'm just going to quickly show you what I have done. I'm sorry I keep cutting and having a bunch of progress done all of a sudden, but 
uh, I uh, need to get this thing done, this <laughs> wood warehouse, and we are definitely past time for this video, so I'm trying to wrap it up as quick as I can, but anyways, you can see that I got the signal sustains in, I didn't get all of them to the maximum sustain, I'm trying to test it out and see if that's, if, if I want both of the signal sustains or just one, but anyways, um, I've gone ahead and I have put in some wires for each and every one of them they're just going to reverse the direction of the conveyor and so hopefully that will all work very well we just now have to put in the little pieces to all of these wood detectors as you can see I, I put in one but we need a bunch more so I've actually started on that I put uh, I, I just cut up a bunch of random pieces of wood that I had laying around on my base so now what we gotta do is we gotta put these all on the conveyor all right now we just gotta put all of these into their little wood detectors and just like that that is this side completely finished and now what we gotta do is we gotta indicate which bins go to what so now we gotta put in the paintings now actually we got to put in these paintings so what we're going to do is we're basically just going to fill in all of these little gaps with paintings because on the outside it's going to be a black surface right here and the reason I'm doing black like that is because if a wood is against another wood like if we were to use koa wood for example and we were to put in a piece right here to indicate that it's koa it would not look very good it would just blend right in and you might not even be able to tell that the bin is koa wood because all of them have a koa background so it just kind of look blank so it wouldn't really look very good so that's why we're doing black but honestly I think that the black is going to look the best anyways alrighty that is the last one so now what well, all we gotta do is we gotta put in little pieces to indicate which wood is what so I'm just gonna use the sticks that were left over from getting all of the little pieces for the wood detector and I'm just gonna fill in some small floors like so they just fill those in and that is that and now we can use all of these for indicating which bin is what and we are so close we just got this one final piece oh, oh that's the wrong thing okay and now let's go ahead and put that in and just like that we got this side finished all right let's just go ahead and put in a few for the other side I don't really have w enough woods to fill in the entire thing I don't want to go to the swamp and get swamp wood and stuff like that so this is good enough for now okay let's go ahead and test the system get some of this wood going into the system and then we can see how well it works and this is the bin Let's see it happen. Oh, 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 it's making its way. Oh, that's so cool. Just going right to where it needs to go. And then that one goes to its bin. So cool, so cool. Then that goes in. And I think that's actually, oh, nope, that's perfect. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's all going into the correct bins. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. Also, you guys, I, I didn't really show you guys this, but I did fill in the gaps between all of the bins since I kept falling through. So I decided to just fix that. So, yeah, now there is a nice walking platform where I, I also put in some work lights right here, which was super nice. Um, and they don't fall through in between the gaps so that is super nice and now the whole thing is nice and lit up though we do need some proper lighting eventually alrighty guys there is one last thing that I gotta test and that is just bringing my truck up to the funnel conveyor and opening the hatches over here and 
Let's see all the wood trickle into my truck. That is so awesome. And once it is done, I can just go ahead and toggle the lever again and it goes right back to normal. So yeah, the system is working perfectly. That is awesome. We still got to wire up all of these, but these are all wired up. We just have to connect all of the levers to the wires and that will be completely working and that is so cool that that feels so nice this whole system is now working we just gotta finish the back right here and we will be done oh i also want to add some glass doors right here but yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this video we only have a little bit left to do to the wood storage and we can finally start working on an item storage in the next episode but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!